Welcome to the Lipis Report. Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to the Lipis Report uh, video podcast. Uh, well, during this video podcast, we'll share with you the results of the industry's largest 40 gigabit Ethernet performance test and its associated results. The Cisco and Semi has recently announced its Nexus 9508 data center modular switch series, which is impressive in terms of performance, power efficiency, 1040 and 100 gigabit Ethernet port density, programming environment, and also orchestration attributes. But while most companies announce products long before first customer ship and long roadmaps of when product features are available, Cisco and Semi's Nexus 9508 is ready now. They are so ready, they asked the independent and open industry Lipis Ixia team to test the Nexus 9508 at 288 40 gigabit Ethernet capacity for layer three unicast plus IP multicast latency and congestion management via RFC 2544, 3918, and 2889 respectively. Now this test is a new industry record and no other data center switch has been tested at 288 40 gigabit ethernet ports. You can call this the mother of all 40 gigabit ethernet tests. But what's really impressive are the results and the engineering achievement of the Cisco and Semi team. Well, in this video podcast, I'm joined with Bradley Wong, a distinguished engineer in technical marketing at Cisco and Semi, as we review the Cisco and Semi Nexus 9508, the test methodologies, and the results. Well, with that said, say hello, Brad, and welcome to the Lipis Report podcast. Hey, Nick, thanks for having me here uh, again, and it's good to be here to review the uh, results of the 9500 test together with you. Excellent, great. Well, I'm really excited because I think this is really um, going to be a pivotal point in the industry. A lot of folks are going to be looking at these results and, uh, and looking at how this changed the marketplace, so I'm really excited about that. So um, first, let's start uh, with the description of the Nexus 9508 um, and the type of networking environments that the engineers really designed this product for? Well, yeah, Nick, so the 9508 is actually one of the first in the, in the family of the Nexus 9000 series, and it's, uh, it's really the first of the modular platforms that uh, we bring to market. Um, it's a modular um, form factor chassis with uh, eight line card slots and uh, two uh, redundant supervisors and all the different redundant components as well. Uh, but we've really sort of geared the Nexus 9508 to, um, to really focus on uh, you know, high performance, uh, 40 gig aggregation. We believe that um, moving forwards, there's, the industry is really going to sort of look to uh, upgrade their server technologies from 1 gig to 10 gig. And as a result of that, we believe that um, the, the, the network infrastructure is also going to be upgraded from 10 gig to 40 gig. So we really want to focus on that sort of really massive scale 40 gig density um, that we get with the, the 9500. And um, you know, hopefully today we'll see the results uh, as a result of that. Yeah, great, excellent. Well, we've been here for a while um, and been really testing the 9508. So let me kind of share the results, how we tested it and also the results with everyone. Sure. Okay. yeah, absolutely. To test uh, the Nexus 9508, we connected 288 40 gigabit ethernet ports to three Ixia XG12 high performance chassis that were running the iXOS 6.5 operating system and iX network 7.10. Now, the Nexus 9508's 288 40 gigabit Ethernet ports were connected via Ixius Multis CXP to three 40 gigabit Ethernet QSFP active optical cable connectors. I know, that's a mouthful. The optical wavelength that was carried between the two devices was 850 nanometers, and it was a three meter optical cable that connected the test gear to the Nexus 9508. Now, to deliver 288 40 gigabit Ethernet ports to the Nexus 9508, an Ixia CXP port running at 120 gigabits per second was split into three 40 gigabit Ethernet QSFP Plus ports. Now, each Ixia module supported four of these CXP ports, with eight modules populating an XG12 chassis delivering 96 40 gigabit Ethernet streams. Three XG12, each populated with 96 40 gigabit Ethernet ports delivered. 288 40 gigabit Ethernet ports into the Nexus 9508. This was a first that this was ever done. The Ixia modules connected to the Nexus 9508 via its 9636PQ modules, and the 9508 ran a version of the Nexus 612 operating system. 
So now let's actually look at the results uh, from that setup, which was, as you can tell, pretty elaborate. Well, we first tested the Nexus 9508 for layer three unicast latency and throughput and found that the Nexus 9508 is the fastest modular data center switch in the industry with average layer three latency of 1.6 to 3.5 microseconds across packet sizes of 64 to 9,216 bytes. This is by far the lowest latency measurements we have observed in core switches in the industry. The previous record for core switch latency was 2.2 to 12 microseconds over the same packet size range, but the core switch was only populated with 352 10 gigabit ethernet ports versus the Nexus 9508 populated with an equivalent of 1,152 10 gigabit ethernet ports. That is, the Nexus 9508 was loaded with over three times more traffic and forwarded the traffic in a quarter of the time for large packet sizes. Really amazing performance. Well, in addition, as the Nexus 9508 was loaded with 288 40 gigabit ethernet of traffic or approximately 11 and a half terabits per second of wire speed across a wide range of packet sizes, not a single packet was dropped. That's also really an amazing achievement. We then tested the Nexus 9508 for IP multicast latency and found that the Nexus 9508 is the fastest modular data center switch in the industry with average IP multicast latency of 1.6 to 3.5 microseconds across packet sizes of 64 to 9,216 bytes. The Nexus 9508 breaks the all-time IP multicast latency record too. The fastest IP multicast for a core switch was 2.4 to 11.6 microseconds. So again, the 9508 is the fastest forwarding device that we have ever measured in the marketplace for core switches. Now to understand how the Nexus 9508 behaves during periods of congestion, we configured 288 ports of 40 gigabit ethernet congestion test to stress the Nexus 9508 switch processing and buffer architectures congestion management subsystems. Well, one group consisting of four 40 gigabit ethernet ports was configured for this congestion test. A receiver was presented with 150% of stated load of 40 gigabit ethernet. The Nexus 9508 demonstrated approximately 78% of aggregated forwarding rate as a percentage of line rate during congestion conditions all across 40 gigabit ethernet ports. There was no head of line blocking observed, which means that as a 40 gigabit ethernet port on the Nexus 9508 became congested, it did not impact the performance of other switch ports, which is extremely important. Back pressure was detected by Ixio test gear. However, this is a phantom reading as back pressure can be triggered when more than 100% of line rate frames pass to a switch port. Uh, it has to do with the section of the RFC 2889 which was written before core switches were equipped with enough buffer capacity to accommodate greater than line rate load. Also, no control or pause frames were observed, which is the norm in core switches today. Well, let me summarize. Um, the Nexus 9508 offered the lowest latency and highest throughput for layer three unicast and IP multicast traffic, and one of the most efficient congestion management behaviors at a scale never before measured in our industry. At 288 40 gigabit ethernet ports, the Nexus 9508 is the highest density core switch tested in the Lipis S Ixia test. This product, pure and simple, is an engineering achievement and worth celebrating, and will find many use cases in modern day public and private cloud infrastructure and hyperscale environments. So those are the results, right? So Brad, we have these test results. So what kind of use cases are you thinking that the market is going to be uh, embracing and utilizing the 9508 for now? Well, yeah, Nick, I mean, you know, in the, uh, as mentioned earlier, um, we basically see that there's a, a gradual and, and even more prominent shift um, in the uh, server market transitioning from one gig to 10 gig attachments. So naturally, uh, that's going to drive infrastructure and network attachments to basically adopt um, and transition from 10 gig to 40 gig infrastructures. Uh, so even in traditional sort of architectures, access aggregation core, we basically see a very, very prominent play for the Nexus 9508 to be positioned in, in the aggregation space to provide that 40 gig aggregation uh, type of connectivity. 
Now, uh, we also see that there's also going to be a, an interesting um, uh, evolution of, um, of infrastructures to uh, gradually adopt a spine leaf architecture as well. And we basically see also the 9508 to be a very, very uh, interesting play in that area as well, to be both the, the, the layer three spine and potentially even to be a, a layer three leaf in those kind of environments as well. Um, having very, very good uh, cross-sectional bandwidth, um, extremely good latency numbers as, as sort of demonstrated in these tests. Um, we see applications as um, in both large-scale, um, massive uh, data center environments, as well as, uh, you know, even traditional data center designs, um, public, private cloud type environments, and even high-performance computing, um, Hadoop type clusters, uh, another good example of, of places where we see the 9500 playing a very, very good role in there. Yeah, that's great, Brad. And also, I want to uh, make sure everyone knows as well is that the tolerance on the latency is really, really tight. We observe like jitter of around three nanoseconds, meaning that it is consistently performing at very low latency across a wide range of packet sizes, whether that's unicast or that's multicast traffic, which bodes well for those use cases that you just talked about. Great. Well, we've been talking about the new Nexus in Semi 9508 performance test results with Bradley Wong, who is a distinguished engineer in technical marketing at Cisco and Semi. I want to thank you, Brad, for joining. Uh, so thank you so much. Thanks, Nick. Thanks for having me. You're more than welcome. And I want to thank you all for watching as well. That concludes this edition of the Lipis Report. Thank you for joining us. Look for us every Tuesday and Thursday. To get your free subscription to the Lipis Report newsletter, go to www.lipisreport.com. To sponsor the Lipis Report podcast, send email to sales at lipis.com. We've got to go, and so do you. See you next time.